Good day YouTube. This is just a, a bit of a quick fun comparison between the latest release of Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition on the left hand, uh, hand side here versus Elementary OS uh, version 6 on the right hand side here. So without further ado, I'll get into it. Now, first of all, uh, these are actually maybe a little bit of an apples to oranges uh, reviews here because on the left hand side, Cinnamon Desktop is the desktop environment of choice for Linux Mint 21 as the default desktop environment. And on the right hand side, we've got the in-house customized Pantheon desktop environment there. Looks a little bit like Mate in my opinion with a dock. But we'll get into it there and uh, have a look. So let's see, and that, that's really what it's all about, having a look at the start menu. You've got your categorization of apps, things like that there. You can search for what you want on the Linux Mint side, which is good. You've got your taskbar and a few options, including the clock. Right click and you've got your uh, context menu. But we'll move across to elementary OS 6 and see what's going on. So really similar in a way. Uh, let's just see if we have a categorization of apps. Yeah, we do, although there's an extra click to find that there. But in terms of functionality, similar in a way, a few less apps in my opinion installed by default, but you could always install them later. And you can search for uh, whatever's there. I'm actually looking for a browser. Okay, it doesn't have Firefox, uh, interestingly enough. Now, uh, moving on, uh, let's have a look here at the, the file manager and see what's going on there. So the file manager for each of them, and on the left-hand side here for Linux Mint 21, uh, we are dealing with the Nemo file manager there. Whereas on the right-hand side for elementary OS, uh, it might be the, the, the Gala file manager. It's actually very hard to, to determine that one there. But they are pretty similar. I mean, color colorizations, icons, a little bit different, but I just like to right-click and open a terminal there. I can actually do that in Linux Mint, but yeah, no, I can also do it in uh, the elementary OS file manager there as well. Got these uh, color options here for to customize it a little bit. In fact, I might just go to blue, see what happens there. Not a great deal so far. I don't know if we've got the same options here. We do, but it's probably more in the back end for Linux Mint 21. Anyway, uh, moving on, let's have a look at the back end and see what's going on here. So we are running on the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint 21, as it is, uh, so a later and greater kernel as the, the back end uh, it's, it, well, it's based on Ubuntu, which is its back end there, the long-term service release of Ubuntu 22.04. And on the right-hand side here, similar story. Uh, it's based on the long-term service release of Ubuntu as well, the same kernel, in fact, the exact same kernel there. Moving across to the, now take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. Now CPUs idling out there nicely, that's good enough to see. The uh, the RAM on boot up, 740 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 21, whereas elementary OS is using a little bit less at 660 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So just uh, something interesting to note if you've got an older laptop, netbook, notebook, MacBook, you name it. Any Thing with a book on the end. Now, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.